Hey guys and gals, coming at you with another strategy sketch on the whiteboard. Now, have you ever been to a website, could even be your own website, and you see a short form or a long form with a ton, ton of stuff in it, and how do you know which one performs better? How do you know which one is gonna get you the most amount of leads through your website so you can close the most amount of deals, the whole thing? Uh, it all comes down to science, and that's what we do here at Investor Care is we track and test a ton of stuff, and we come at you with what we have actually found the data tells us performs the best. So we're gonna do this video on short forms versus long forms on your website. So which one is actually gonna give you the most performance uh, as far as your lead conversions on your website? So um, first of all, we have a short form here, of course, and a long form. And a lot of websites you go to, it could be a, a, a house buying website, it could be one for motivated house sellers, cash buyers, whatever it is. You'll go there and they have, you know, they have 14 different things on the form and the motivated seller who lands there just has a lot of stuff to fill out. They're asking for mortgage information, they're asking for all kinds of stuff, and that's a lot of stuff to fill out. Now on the, on the flip side of it, you go to some websites and they might just have an email box or just have something to fill out your name and phone number or something. So um, is there a kind of a, a common ground that's gonna get you the best performance? Well, what we've found in our testing, and we've also corroborated this with a lot of other experts in the conversion industry on what they have been testing, is that the short form up front is gonna give you better performance, but not just a short form. We're gonna show you how, how to couple it with this strategy we call the two-step that's gonna give you the best overall performance with conversions on the front end and lead quality in the back end, all right? So the first thing right here is the psychology behind your opt-in forms is really important because when someone lands on your website, what they're gonna see is they're gonna see either a bunch of work that they have to do to, to be able to become a lead of yours, or they're gonna be able to see, or they're gonna see a really streamlined and low resistance way to work with you. And we always wanna work on the streamlined and low resistance side of things make it as easy as possible for people to engage with you, to work with you, to fill out the, the information on your website. The harder we make it, the less likely people are to engage. They're gonna bounce back to Google, they're gonna head over to their, your competitor's website and engage with them, or they're gonna go back to Facebook or play Pokemon Go or something like that. So we wanna make sure we're engaging them when they're on the website and keep them there and streamline the process. So uh, we like to do small asks first. Can you, can you find some very simple things that are small questions that you can ask and that are really easy for them to answer that are gonna to lead to the big ask later. So an example, if you're working with a motivated house seller website, what we like to do is we like to do first name, um, your phone number, and address. Or I'm sorry, let's reverse that. It's gonna be address, phone number, and email address. We don't care about their first name at this point. At this point, all we care about is their address, which is a very low resistance thing, uh, their phone number, which you can make optional or required, it depends um, on, on your choice, and then we like to do email, so you have two points of contact for them, okay? So that's all we care about at the start, because now we have their contact info and we have their address, very low resistance ask. At this point, we're not asking for mortgage information, we're not asking for you know, bedrooms, bathrooms, all that kind of stuff, because we don't care. Because if your system works correctly, all of that, all of those details, your bedrooms, your bathrooms, uh, square footage, all can get pulled in just by the address. So here at Investor Care, we have a new feature that we've just built out that actually, as soon as you have the address, it pulls in all of the other data. So you don't have to even ask for it, which is really cool. Streamlines it for you, makes it easier for your client. Now, uh, when, as soon as you, you, you have the small ask there, then we're gonna do the bigger ask later. When you get their basic information, then we're the, gonna guide them to a longer form. Okay, so for us, it's not, it's not small, small forms or longer forms, it's both. Let's eliminate this in the middle, and we're gonna drive someone from a small form to a big form on the two-step process, okay? So the next thing is three to four. So what does that mean? Uh, in our testing, we found that three to four form fields on the first form is the most optimal uh, setup for getting your, your the most amount of leads through your system, okay? So now, if we're asking, if we're talking about the most amount of leads, you might be having a question in your mind going, okay, so it might get me more leads, but I want quality leads. I want ones that are giving me real information I can actually follow up on. And I know that when I have a longer form, I get higher quality leads. You're hundred percent correct. So once again, that's where the two step comes in. We want to make sure to have small asks here, very benefit oriented headlines. So it's a headline and the button. You don't want the button to say submit. You don't want the button to say continue or next page. The button should have the benefit that you're going to give them through, through submitting the information on that form. It could be get my fair cash offer. It could be see investment properties. It could be download the free report. Okay. Never have your button say submit, continue, uh, things like that. They need to have the benefit in the button. And we 
found that vastly increases the conversion. You guys might be looking at it and go, ah, what's that matter? Check out our blog. We have multiple instances where we ran bunches of tests that show that we've increased the performance on a website simply by changing the button, uh, the text in the button from something very generic to a benefit oriented headline and on the button. Okay. The next thing is, uh, why are we two-step? And now I'm not talking about dancing here. I'm talking about uh, a two-step opt-in process, like I mentioned. So first of all, your first form should have three to four form fields, and then we're going to capture that information. We're going to take all that information. We're going to send it through the second form on a separate page, um, and then we're going to guide them through other questions. So now this is where you can really qualify your leads. This is where you can really get full information from them so you can have the full story on how you can help that prospect the best. Okay. And then last, once again, what about the lead quality? The lead quality really comes in on your two steps. You've already got their information through the first form. The second form is all about qualifying them even further. And we have found that anywhere between 80 to 95% of all your leads, depending on how you're marketing, will end up filling out the second form. But here is where it gets really magical, guys and gals. By having a shorter form on the front, and having an effective uh, step two form set up with the right questions in there, like we have built into Investor Carrot, where the majority of the people are going to fill that out, you're increasing your performance on the front end by anywhere from 20 to 40 percent. So you're getting a 20 to 40 percent bump in your leads while also still getting the same quality of leads in the back end simply because we harness the power of human psychology that we all like to find the path of least resistance. We all like to work with people who make it easy for us. And anytime you make your prospects think on your website, it means that they're going to bail and go back to playing Pokemon Go or Facebook or something. OK, so use that on your websites, guys and gals. Make sure you guys have short forms that lead into a long form that further qualify them. Three to four form fields in the first and make sure your buttons are always benefit oriented, not submit, not continue, something like that. Talk about the benefit that they're going to get at the end of it and make sure that you're capturing the right information on the second form that further qualifies them out with the data you want. If you are not an Investor Carrot member, check out some of the new features we have. If you are an Investor Carrot member, same thing. A new feature we're just launching right now is grabbing the address data and it's going to yank all that information from Zillow. So you guys don't even have to ask for square footage for bedrooms, bathrooms, for all that kind of stuff. We're going to do it for you through the address data. We make it simpler for you so you can go out there and do more of what makes your heart sing. Uh, guys and gals, check out our other strategy sketch videos uh, on our YouTube channel, wherever the button is, somewhere on this thing. Uh, check them out and we'll, we'll, chat, we'll talk with you later. Thank you. Mm -hmm.